Hi, welcome. I'm Brenton Schellenbach, and I just finished filming this class. So it was really fun for me to do. I just did my asana practice, and I'm about to put the audio over it, and it's been really fun to film this way. Uh, everything else that I filmed, I was talking while I was doing it, so I kind of had the feeling that I wanted to be more in my own practice and so I gave myself that opportunity today which was perfect because this is our New Year's class and I don't want to like impose an intention or even a mindset on this practice for you but just to give you the opportunity to really consult with yourself if there's um, some intention or resolution that you would like to pursue for this practice. For me, I found that, you know, thinking of resolutions, that's never really been my thing um, because they always seem so future-based. And so when I make a future-based resolution, then sometime in the future, let's say I make the resolution to work out more, sometime in the future, when I'm sitting at home, I think to myself, ah, I have to work out more because I told myself that I would do it for this New Year's resolution. And so it becomes kind of like this battle between like, I said I would do it later, and I said that before, so now I have to, and it's really jumbly with past and future, and it doesn't ever feel like totally authentic. It feels kind of more like something I'm imposing on myself. So in thinking about just how I, what a resolution is, why we do this, you know, at the New Year's, you know, um, I've been thinking more about like, well, how do I want to spend the present moment? And how do I want to spend the next present moment and the next present moment? And so the result of this has kind of been that I made this practice and I was just moving um, with this kind of in mind. And as I was filming it, I was finding um, a lot of strength, a lot of strength postures and that when we're in the strength postures, to still be there with that calmness and that ability to see yourself clearly. And um, then I was also feeling just very connected to the twists and the rinsing postures and the detoxification benefits of that and just feeling my whole body stretch open and have the opportunity to release some long held patterns or belief systems or anything like that or just stretch your body in a way that it hasn't been stretched in a while. So without saying anything else, here is your New Year's practice. It's 30 minutes. There's a lot of strength, uh, twists, hip openers, and enjoy. Welcome to your New Year's class. Let's start in a seated position. You can always prop yourself up on something if you're not comfortable sitting right on the floor. Take these opening moments to become alert and relax. Start reflecting this in the breath so that you're breathing a cool, even ujjayi. Float the hands together right in front of the chest and seal your intention bow your chin to your chest Lift the skull, and on the next inhale breath, take the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, let them float down by your sides. You can breathe out through the mouth if that feels good. Two more, inhale, lift the arms. 
Exhale, arms out to the side. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, out and down. Turn forward if you aren't forward already. And place the hands and knees for tabletop position. All fours, get comfortable, hold the pose in with your abdomen and float through cat cows. Inhales, the tailbone lifts, the chest lifts, we look up. And exhales, the spine rounds and you look in at your belly button. Become muscularly engaged during this time and try to use every piece of the body evenly. Meet a table, tuck the toes, let the knees hover, and we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Get comfortable in this pose. Dial back into your opening meditation. Inhale, stretch the right leg all the way up to the sky. And exhale, squeeze the knee into the chest, find space and take the right foot to the floor. Drop the back knee to a hover right on the floor and drag your pelvis forward as long as your hips feel good. Hands underneath the shoulders as you start to lift the heart, the chest, and the skull tip all the way up to the sky. Breathe into that back hip. Lift your back leg into plank. Ground your hands into plank. And then gently lift and step the right foot back to plank. Hold the pose here. Inhale. And exhale, move back, downward facing dog. Inhale, you lift high to the heels, zip your belly and roll forward plank. Exhale, move back, downward facing. Float forward once more on your breath. And exhale, Chaturanga to the floor, match it up, nice and easy. Release your pelvis, your tops of your feet. Inhale and exhale through the mouth as you set the forearms down for Sphinx. Inhale into Sphinx pose and exhale, you'll curl the belly to the spine and lift a modified forearm plank. And you just go back and forth twice more. Smooth out the corners of your breath and let the endings get a little longer. Next exhale, roll up and then tuck your toes, lift your knees up to complete your forearm plank. We have three breaths here. If you feel agitation, it'll make you want to fidget. So work through that and hold your breath and pose steady and then release. One knee at a time and as the shins ground, wave all the way up until you're standing on your knees and lift your arms all the way up to the sky. Take a big breath in and exhale. Spread the arms and twist to the right. Hold your legs steady, inhale, up, wave the arms up, and exhale, other side. Ground through your shins, inhale, wave the arms, fuller breath, this will keep you calm. And exhale, hips to heels, belly strong, melt the hands to the floor, modified child's pose. Take this prayer position at the heart with the elbows wide 
and melt your heart into your fingertips. Wave your pelvis left to right if that feels good. And then ground your hands into table, tuck the toes, and then you'll lift the knees to a hover and push back, downward facing dog. Dial back into your breath, into your opening meditation. Inhale, stretch the left leg up. Exhale, pull the left knee in, ground your foot, and then drop your back knee to a hover. Low lunge, modified low lunge. Stretch your back hip as you ground your hands under your shoulders and lift through your chest. So you start a little chest opening. There's freedom there. Lift your back leg into plank. Ground your hands into plank. Lift your belly and step your left leg back into plank. Inhale, three-dimensional. Exhale, move back, down dog. Inhale, lift and move forward, plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Get steady with your arms. Inhale, lift forward, come through, plank. And exhale, downward facing Super steady. Last one. Inhale forward. Use your exhale and move that slowly through Chaturanga. Same speed. Ground your pelvis and your feet. Anchor your toes open. Set your legs for cobra pose. Hands under elbows. Curl into your fingers and ripple the spine to halfway. And then all the way up through cobra. Heart moves over back of pelvis. Look up. And then move your belly to your spine and go to downward facing dog. Keep your arms nice and grounded. And then move to your tiptoes and walk forward until you're in Uttanasana, standing forward fold. And get really nice and heavy over your thigh bones. Some people might like to stretch the feet wide. Some people might like to stretch their shoulders, interlace their fingers, and take a bind to the sky. So really assess what your body is interested in. We'll meet down with fingertips to floor and inhale, stretch forward, halfway lift. On your exhale, forward fold. And longer breath, inhale, create your pose, stretch out of your pelvis. Exhale, push into your feet and come upright until you're standing. Inhale, full breath and lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands together at the heart. And inhale, stretch the arms up overhead. Exhale to your forward fold pose, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Ground your hands and then gently step the left foot back and walk to the center of your mat. So you're in wide-legged forward fold, standing Prasarata Padottanasana. Decide how far apart you like your feet. Do you like to turn your toes in or bend your knees? All of those decisions would be made to turn your pelvis upside down. You can warm your thighs with fan lunges if you want, just by pushing yourself left to right. Moving side to side, you can walk your hands forward, and then we'll all push into our feet and roll up until we're standing. This is where we'll stretch our hips open symmetrically. Keep your heels turned in, open your toes, and sit into your legs for horse. Hands together at the heart if you like. Feel 
Feel your feet work into the ground and then work that energy up through the inner thighs. Hold that as you forward fold to the inside of the legs. Open your knees over your ankles. And if you want, twist. Left hand under the face, right fingers unfurl to the sky. Try to set yourself down evenly into your legs. And try to lengthen the spine along a cylindrical axis. Other side, when you're ready, right hand down, left arm ripples upward to the sky. And release. Root into your feet, come back to your forward fold. In this forward fold, ground your hands and start to move out through your shoulders. So learn how to release the residue of your poses. Strong feet. We'll gently meet in a standing position. Warrior two on the right. Virabhadrasana two. Turn the right leg out. Knee goes out over that right second toe, and arms can tee open. Lengthen from tailbone to skull, and then turn your gaze over your right fingers. Work every piece of your body evenly. Everything is deliberate. Extended side angle. Move the right elbow to the right knee. Stretch the left arm across the body. It's fine to internally rotate that back hip if that's more comfortable. And start some shoulder pulls. Squeeze your fist and drag your elbow by your side three times. Go with your breath. We'll finish with left arm by the left ear a full inhale, and an exhale to fold both hands to the inside of the right foot. Lift up to the back toes and turn the pelvis to the floor. We'll set down for runner's lunge. Back knee lowers, stretch the heart out of the pelvis. And if it feels good, walk your hands forward. Keep stretching, elongate from your left knee all the way out through your left armpit. And if you'd like to work on an arm balance, you can move towards hurdlers. If you need some help, step the hands back so that as you bend the arms, you can hook the right leg on the right arm and you'll tip the weight forward. Try to get some flight with your back leg. Wherever you are, go back through Chaturanga. Root the hands and legs, curl up through Cobra. And exhale, move back, downward facing dog. Hurdler's pose, that arm balance, it's pretty tricky. And it'll take a few times setting up to get it, so don't worry. Keep your feet grounded. Start to walk the hands back to the feet. Standing forward fold for a moment. Inhale, stretch forward halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stretch forward halfway. And exhale, push until you're standing upright. Let's turn so we're in the center of the mat. And when you're ready, you can step or hop the feet apart. We'll move into warrior two on the left. Let your body settle into this pose and always build from comfort. Make all decisions based there. So any piece of discomfort, start to address it. 
just by doing something different, tiny adjustments. Extended side angle when you're ready. Left elbow down, right arm across. And then you can start some shoulder pulls. Fill the fist with the right hand and start to pull the elbow down by the side. Muscularly engage through the bicep as you pull the elbow down by your body. Inhale, stretch the right arm long, get strong, and then fold to the inside of the left foot. Lift the back heel, turn the body to face the ground, and then begin to set down for your runner's lunge. So just try to keep your pelvis evenly set between your legs here. And this might be as far as you go. Stay interested in the length of your torso as you walk your hands forward. And if you want to play around with hurdler's pose, Ekapada Kundanyasana B, you'll begin to place the hands back so you can place your left shoulder behind your left knee. Lift your back leg to plank. Tip your weight forward, lift your left foot, and then start to get some flight with your back foot. Front body is in chaturanga, and then you can gently move back through regular chaturanga. That's where we're all neat. Inhale through your cobra or upward facing dog, and exhale down dog. Realign to your opening meditation here. Never leave it, not even for one moment in your practice. Be with it always. Walk the feet toward the hands. Fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, push into your feet and stand upright. Inhale, stretch your arms, your ribs lift. Keep the space, exhale, hands together at the heart. Turn to the center of the mat again. Make sure you have some space left to right of you. We'll begin our standing balance. Keep your left foot grounded and start to draw your right leg up to one-legged Tadasana. Hold your pose and get steady here. Full deep breaths. You might stay here, or if you want extended hand to big toe, hinge forward and grab your foot. Before you straighten it, pull back up to standing Tadasana. Integrate your right shoulder, integrate your right leg straight in front of you, and then begin to push out through the sole of the foot towards straight. Keep pulling the right thigh into the hip socket and lift from your left heel, pushing down into the floor. Move it to the side if you want your side version. First move it into external rotation, knee bent, and then start to press out. Arms can tee open. And if you don't have your foot, just open your knee for this part. So just do the same thing with your thigh. Let's meet, pull it back in through center, reverse your actions very consciously, and then drop your right foot back to the floor. Observe, this is the fun part. Experience. Other side, draw the left leg up, one-legged Tadasana. Your breath will inform you whether you should move forward. So never feel bad about your decisions. Just let your breath guide it. Move towards extended hand to big foot pose. If you're grabbing your foot, come back up to Tadasana and you can pause here as well. And then you might start to extend your left leg forward. Keep integrating your body towards Tadasana, every piece of it. Mm -hmm. 
Move it out to the side if you want your second pose. You can do this if you have the foot or even if the knee is just freestanding in the air. Work slowly. And begin to pull yourself back in through center and release all the way down to the floor. Be still and observe. Hands together at the heart, cleansing breath. Lift the arms up to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, cleansing breath, release the hands. Same calmness. You may want one or two yoga blocks for this next part. We'll begin our cool down. So we'll take a standing cool down. We'll start in pyramid pose with your right foot forward and your left foot behind you. Left foot will be slightly upturned. Legs can be bent as always for your forward fold. And you'll just take the upper body over the lower body. This is where blocks might come in handy if you're not so flexible in your hamstrings. You might place your hands up on something and start to press your feet down and forward, traction your legs up into your pelvis and towards the back of your mat. If you wanna to twist today, take your left hand underneath your face, slide your right hand back to your low back, level it up, come to halfway lift, and then gently begin to start rotating over to the right. Work in your own time here. Make sure you're not side bending or swaying off your midline. This is a challenging twist. Keep rotating along a cylindrical axis, and the stronger your legs are, the more freedom your chest will feel. Release your right hand to the floor and fold. So if that twist is too advanced, just stay in pyramid pose on the next side, and then we'll switch. Left foot will be forward, right foot back, toes slightly open, Squeeze your thighs back, level off your hips as best you can, and fold. Revolved triangle pose, or paravrita, Trikonasana. You can move your right hand underneath your face or on a block. Left hand moves to the low back. It helps you level out here. Use your legs to do that. Get long and then spin along an imaginary axis and then add your top hand to the ceiling. Get energetically specific through your hands, through your feet. Squeeze your legs into your pelvis and get super long. Really let the neck serve you in twists, whether you look down at the floor or up at the hands and release your left hand to the floor. Let's move the back foot forward to standing forward fold, symmetrical forward bend, to help us calm the energy of our practice. Squat on down, take your heels to your booty and curl your chin in. You can stay here and just breathe into the back ribs or start walking your fingertips back until you're balancing. Try to bring your shoulders over your hips and maybe hands at heart. Steady breath. Hands can release to the floor. 
and come to the booty. Lift your heels, roll out through your ankles, and gently roll down onto your back. We'll take the soles of our feet together, knees butterfly open for Supta Baddha Konasana, and we'll rest here with one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. Our biggest emotion centers at the heart and at the lower abdomen. And feel the space become increasingly void, totally empty. Let our meditation be for the new year about really leaving behind all of our past. Start some tiny movements in your body, the tiniest that can be. Gently take your hands down to your thighs, push your thighs away from you and get a good stretch through your belly and your torso. And then gently begin to help the knees draw together. You can sway your knees a little bit to the left and the right. Lengthen the arms by the ears and roll over into a fetal position. Cover your head with your top arm and fold your head and heart to the floor here. Give yourself total darkness. Place your top hand by your heart on the floor, root into it to lift yourself into a seat. Meet with hands together at the heart and observe. Bow your chin and namaste.